Hey and welcome to today's episode talking about the physiological origin of FTP or functional threshold power. Let's get straight into it. So I assume that most of you will know the term FTP or actually use it in training, test it, you know, use the results to derive training zones. And I assume that most of you will train and try to improve your power put or running speed or whatever measure of intensity at functional threshold power. So most people know or have kind of an idea of what FDP is, right? But what's about the question of what it is, but how it's actually generated? What determines the power output at FDP? And why does one athlete have a power output of let's say 200 watts and another athlete has a power output of 300 or even 400 watts? What is the difference? What are the mechanics? that determine power output at FDP. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. And in order to do so, what we want to start with is understand where the term FDP is actually coming from, or functional threshold power. So I think it's important to understand no matter what definition you might be using, you know, 60 minute power output or whatsoever, we come to this later, is that your functional threshold power, it kind is kind of the functional substitute or the more applicable, more training applicable substitute for a term called anaerobic threshold. An anaerobic threshold has been out there in you know the world of exercise physiology for decades actually. It's a much older term than threshold power. And in most cases, Anaerobic threshold will be determined by, you know, lactate profile tests. You would have to visit a lab or a field test, but you basically increase, that is kind of the traditional protocol, you basically increase exercise intensity, you know, stepwise, three minute, five minute, eight minute steps whatsoever, measure the lactate concentration, and then use whatever kind of method to derive, at the, you know, calculate the power output running speed at anaerobic threshold. So what FDP actually is, or is trying to do, is without the need to go to a lab, try to determine this domain of intensity which relates or correlates or is actually your anaerobic threshold power. And because it is not the real physiological correct scientific way to determine an anaerobic threshold, it is called functional threshold power because it is the functional value of this threshold you're looking for, okay? But the real origin so where it all comes from is a term com called MLSS, which stands for Maximum Lactate Steady State, right? So back in, you know, the mid 70s of the last century, 1976, the first publications came out describing that at a certain exercise intensity, the lactate concentration would be stable. So if you look at time, minutes, most likely in most cases, and the lactate concentration, at a certain intensity, the lactate concentration in the blood, measured in the earlobe or in this, in this uh, time actually uh, at, at the finger, would stabilize. And when you increase the intensity, the lactate concentration might still stabilize, but on a higher level. And at a certain intensity, lactate values would not stabilize anymore, but kind of increase. And then the maximum lactate steady state basically refers to the highest intensity, the highest power output or running speed, at which it is still possible to maintain a constant lactate concentration. Okay? And Again, this is then what anaerobic threshold or FDP are trying to do via a lactate profile test or via whatever kind of test using, you know, power data these days from your bike or, or run. And what might be interesting to, to know is that the differences, so the jumps in intensity from this lactate curve to this one to this one, normally you're looking at changes of approximately 10 watts. Okay, in some cases, maybe seven. So that's an important side note because it basically tells you that 
even with this gold standard so this MLSS is the gold standard to determine the, the real threshold so to speak the resolution is never better than approximately 7 or 10 watts maybe depending a little bit on the body weight okay so even with this gold standard it is not valid it is not correct so to speak to even discuss changes in power output at threshold smaller than this and then obviously this is also true for any approximation of this metabolic state okay so long story short what we're looking at here with talking about functional threshold power it is trying to 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 be an approximation of an intensity domain where lactate still stabilizes okay and why lactate well view lactate as a marker as an indicator for fatigue not saying that it causes fatigue right but you know at exhaustion an athlete reaches a certain lactate level and the steeper this curve right the sooner the athlete will reach his individual maximum possible lactate concentration basically saying intensity is higher fatigue um, occurs sooner now obviously this gold standard maybe it's nice in terms of accuracy and scientific reliability and so on and so forth but it's most likely in most cases you would use durations of 30 minutes so whatever 30 minutes 280 watts 30 minutes 290 30 minutes 300 you can do maximum two of those on one day so you can already see it's not very practical right it's not really applicable to training you have to go to a lab and you would have to go several days and obviously you know you need to know where to look right do i start here with 280 watts or 380 or 180 so not really applicable not really useful for application and training therefore lactate incremental lactate profile test determine anaerobic threshold or the more training applicable way Forget about the scientific one, use the functional threshold power. Maybe good enough and actually very good usable. So this is where the term FTP comes from. It is actually linked to being able to sustain a certain lactate concentration. The highest intensity which can be sustained without accumulating lactate. This is, historically speaking, what FDP is trying to approximate here.